Hi, this is Mike from MRIS and I'd like to take just a couple of minutes to show you some of the team features that we've added to Matrix. Team features are great uh, if you do work as part of a team uh, and in this example we're going to add another agent to one of our teams and we'll add an assistant who works for us as part of a team. Uh, even if you're not part of a team, the team features are still really handy, especially if uh, you have another agent who covers your work for you, say, while you're on vacation. You can, set up, uh, you can set up Matrix so that when they log in, they can actually pretend to be you, so all the printouts still have your name, even though they're doing some of your work for you. Uh, so if that applies to you, I encourage you to watch through this video. Everything that we do in the Teams settings uh, to create our teams and all of that all begins in the My Matrix section. So I'm going to scroll up to the top here and click the My Matrix section. And at the bottom, the last, sec uh, the last setting in my, the last option in My Matrix is the Settings item, the Settings menu choice. Once you're on the My Settings screen, down at the bottom, you'll notice it says. The team settings page allows you to designate other matrix users as your team settings. I don't have a team defined yet, so I'm going to click here to create a team. Uh, it brings me to the team settings page, and again, I'll click here to create a team. Now, first, we'll walk through the example of uh, me and another agent who work together as part of a team. My wife is uh, a matrix uh, MRIS customer. She's a real estate agent, so I want to add her as part of my team. All I need to know is her user ID and uh, we can look that up on the MRS.com website. I happen to know her user ID. So I'll just type that in here and find it. I see her information appears on the screen and down at the bottom you'll see that I have two choices. I can have this member impersonate me or I can have this member work on behalf of me, so on behalf of the team. I want all the printouts to say her name on them on behalf of our team together, so I'm going to have her work on behalf of the team. And I'll click Add. So just like that, we've now added another agent to the team. We can see up here it says, Melissa Delgadio, my wife, works on behalf of this team. So now since we have a team, I can create a team name. So since we work together as the Delgadio team, I'll just enter that information here and I'll also say that I work on behalf of this team. So just like I have uh, my wife set up, I'll set myself up as working on behalf of the team. I click OK. We now return to the settings page and we see that for team settings that I've enabled one team member. But we also have an assistant who works with us, not an agent, but he works um, as a personal assistant to us. So I'm going to add his user ID also to our team. So again, I just click here where it says click here to add a team member. We'll give that a click. And we'll e add my assistant uh, his user ID, 141. Up comes his information. And at the bottom, for the choice for the assistant, I'm going to have this member impersonate me. So in other words, when the assistant is in working and generating printouts in Matrix, I want it to have my name on it rather than the assistant's name because he's not an agent. I'm the agent. He's just working. Uh, when he works, he is to impersonate me. So I'll make sure I have the impersonation uh, selection made and I'll add him to the team. So now we can see that there are two members of our team and we've given our team a name. That's all you need to do to create a team. It's very straightforward. So once we're done, click OK. Now let's just show you how that comes out. So the next time you come into Matrix and you conduct a search, you'll notice uh, that it says in the corner that it says welcome to the Delgadio team, because that's now what we've, what we've called ourselves rather than saying welcome Mike. And when we do a search, let's just do a quick search here. So I'll search for uh, properties in Anne Arundel County. Just do a quick search for some properties. We'll bring up a property, and when we tell it to print report, for example, on the customer synopsis, after it generates, we'll scroll to the bottom and see what actually comes out on the printout. You'll notice now it says courtesy of Michael Delgadio on behalf of the Delgadio team. So that's how it prints out when I print it. That's also how it will appear when our assistant goes in 
and makes any printouts. It will say my name on behalf of the dog audio team. My wife can also add Tim part of her team to impersonate her. But when Tim works as part of this team, when the assistant works, his name will never appear on any of the printouts because he's not the licensed agent. So all in all, it's pretty straightforward, very easy to set up, and I think it will really help you uh, work with other agents in getting your work done. Thanks for watching. I hope this helps.